After receiving their small plots, people began to sense this intuitively. Millions of pairs of human hands touched the earth with love. It was with their hands, not machinery, that people gently touched the earth at their small plots. And it sensed this. It sensed the touch of each individual hand and found the strength to hold on. So what does this mean? Should we put a statue to each summer person as the planet's savior? Yes, Vladimir, they are saviors. But you don't need to build so many monuments. Better you should declare a universal holiday, or at least a day off or two, and name it Summer People Day, or Hall Earth Day on the calendar. Oh, a holiday! Anastasia clapped her hands. What a wonderful idea! A holiday! We absolutely must have a cheerful and joyous holiday. The holiday will be light and beautiful. Everyone, everyone will rejoice and the whole earth will fill with joy. We have to make sure that everyone rejoices and feels good. This holiday will begin in Russia and it will become the most beautiful holiday on earth. A holiday for the soul. How will it be celebrated the very first time in Russia? After all, no one will know how. On that day, each person's heart will suggest to him what to do. But I'll create a general model right away. Let Russia rise at dawn that day. Let all people as families with friends and suddenly approach the earth and stand on it with feet bare. Those who have their own small plots where they cultivate fruits with their own hands, let them greet the sun's first ray among their planets and touch each kind. When the sun rises, let them pick and eat one of each kind of berry. They won't need anything more until the midday meal. Let them tend their plots until their meal. Let each think about life and where his joint purpose lie. Let each think lovingly of those dear to him, and of friends, and of why his plants grow and give each its own purpose. Before the meal, each should have at least one hour of seclusion. It doesn't matter where or how, but it must without fail be in seclusion, where he can be alone and look in wards for at least an hour. Let the entire family gather for a meal, those living together and those who have come from far away that day. Let them prepare the midday meal from what the earth has yielded for the tower. Let each place on the table what his heart and soul desire. Then let the members of the entire family tenderly look at each other in the eye. Let the oldest and youngest say grace, and let calm conversations flow around the table. The conversation must be about the good and about whoever is by their side.